Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Today I'm bringing you um, a small project that I'm doing um, with miniature cards. So this is a miniature card box. So today we're going to be doing the box and I'm going to show you some miniature cards I've made. So here are my miniatures. I'll show you a full size card and our miniatures. So the reason I've done this is um, I was cutting some cardstock a little while ago and by accident instead of scoring it I cut it in half there. So then I had this bit of card that I could trim down to make a backing for another card or a layer but instead I decided to see if I could get some envelopes and make a card. So basically it is half of our normal card uh, size, which is, let me get a ruler, which is 10 and a half centimeters by 14.9 or is that eight? Uh, nine. So, and that is literally scored down the center and folded in half, which is uh, about seven and a half about-ish. Yeah, about seven and a half. So, just a lovely way to use up if you have ever cut card by accident um, and wanted to do something with it. I went onto Amazon and I found some envelopes that fit, which are brilliant, which are perfect. Um, you could make, I do have an envelope punch board, which is how we made, how I made the, the gift box for it. But I thought I would... Um, see if I could buy some envelopes just saves on time doesn't it um, and they weren't expensive and um, we've got quite a few in a pack and uh, I think they work really well so here in this pack I've created uh, four different cards I've used different stamp sets but these are just a couple of ideas but today we are going to be making the box and I'll show you how to make the cards some other time so I'm just going to bring my envelope punch board in, how I created this box. And on the envelope punch board there are some really handy uh, little tools to help you figure out what size you need for what card. Um, the way i done this is to get my cardstock size I added an inch onto whatever it said and then at the score point I added one eighth to the score line. So the card that we've got is about, or then the closest to it is three and a half by four and a half. Uh, it says to cut at six, uh, six and three quarters by six and three quarters, score at three. So adding to that, I have cut seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters, and I'm gonna uh, score at 3.8 and 4.8. I shall show you that. I've used just a piece of copy of paper just to try it out first to make sure that it was the right size for me, which my card and envelope fits in quite snugly, but it works for the box. Okay, this shouldn't take too long to do. So my, like I said, I've my, pre-cut my cardstock already, seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And I am going to line up, so it says to cut at three and add uh, 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 one eighth of an inch, sorry. So I'm gonna punch and score at that point. And then I'm gonna move it along and do four and one eighth. Score and cut. Now we don't need to worry about these because we're going to line up on the lines that we've made. There we go. If any rubbish out the way. Um, I'm going to round off my edges because I prefer the edges round. So at the top of the punch board, 
there is a little slot which you can pop the card into and punch the same. Just think it looks much neater. So if you've got a bone folder or you can use the tool that you've already got, I prefer my bone folder, I am just going to burnish all of my score lines Now, if you want to make your slits, I'd probably make them now. And you can just make one slit if you want, which is, I've got some ribbon, which is a centimeter wide. So that's what I've used. Um, there are several ways you can do the ribbon. This one, I've just done two tails out the top. Um, so it's attached, but you could, which I'm gonna do for this one, make a slit just on the second score line in and make a slit on the bottom of the box here. So here and here. And I'm just gonna bring in my trimmer for that. So top and bottom insides. So then what will happen is the ribbon will be on the inside, come out on the outside and come out on the outside and then you can tie it in the center. That's the idea anyway. So I'm just going to line up my score lines onto, onto the little crevice that we've got, the little um, valley. And then I'm going to take it to the centre as best I can see. You can get a ruler and measure it out if you want, but I'm not that fussy. So I'm going to take it right in the centre there and I'm going to take it out and out because I've got, an, I've got a centimetre mark there. And then for this, I'm just going to use my ruler, try and line it up, and then just make a small dot. You can use a pen or a pencil. It's on the inside, so it's not gonna be seen. So I know that's about the centre of where I need to line my ribbon up again. So back into the take it. There we go. Hopefully that's about right. Um, it's at this point that I would add my ribbon. And remember we're going to need enough that it goes around the card. Um, so we thread it through the back. Not around the card, around the box. I'm just using my nail to poke it through. And then back through. Like so. And I'm gonna leave that there for just a second until I put the rest of it together. Now, what we need to do is we need to cut some tabs just so we can actually fold our box properly. So I'm gonna make a slit in this one and a slit in this one. So when we fold the box, they are on the inside. It's a little bit fiddly like that. Now the reason some people cut this tab instead so it folds in the other way 
um, along here so it folds in there but I found that actually with this one which I did do that that my cards catch on that so I'm doing it the other way this time um, and these the top tabs we're going to cut completely off because we don't need those Obviously, you could have done that bit before you threaded your ribbon. So that becomes the top. I'm just going to snip off this end because I find that it sticks out and I didn't really want it to. Now's where the gluing starts. I always glue onto this part. Um, because it doesn't go all the way up and if you glue onto this part you might overshoot the glue but I'm going to use fast fuse for this so I'm just going to pop it up the wrong way um, you can use fast fuse, red tape um, you can use Tombow, whatever's your preference. problems with my fast fuse I think it's run out and got caught so we shall use a little bit of Tombow instead so no, done it wrong. Oh well, I'm doing it slightly different because I've put the glue on the wrong part. I wasn't thinking. So we are gluing. Should have been on the other bit but as you can see it doesn't really matter um it does help if you can if you've got a stack of something it could be cards or some card to pop in there Kind of push down onto. So you can get your shape and you know that it fits. And then all we need to do now is to cut our ribbon to size. Plenty. And you've got a nice fasting for it. Um, you can use some designer series paper to decorate it or stamp it in if you do a certain stamp set just for that card, those cards. Like I could do a whole series of just the Daffodil Delight or the Jar of Love just to to do it and you could decorate it the same to match your cards. I'm just popping four cards, four envelopes in. Which fits perfectly. 
plenty of space. Um, if you've got any miniature pens, a miniature pen on top of that would be lovely. That's just a small gift. There we go. There is our little card gift set. Well, I hope you liked my little project today. So that's the first part of my project of uh, miniature cards uh, gift pack set which is lovely. So this has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. If you like my video, like and share it. Uh, any comments below, let me know. Thanks very much. Bye.